Astrogator, I think I've gone far enough. There is a vast open area in front of me. The city is no longer visible. We need to decide what to do next. Dragonfly, over. Are you there? Yes, yes, please excuse me. As in the infirmary. Is the coast clear? Yep, all clear. Good. Give me a moment. I'm looking at the satellite images. Hm. Have you examined Marit's body yet? I wired her brain to a grave tapper, if that's what you're asking. Yes, that's what I meant. Have you watched the memory recording? Yes, but they didn't say anything because the picture is ambiguous. To put it mildly, a lot of black dots. The graininess of the image is extremely bad. All right, I've got it. Sector AZ-25... Let's say AZ-2504. Please check if it's fit to land. Hello and welcome back to the Invincible. Like I said, it looks good. Clear opening, flat terrain. Excellent. Please go there while I prepare the lander. I'll just pack Artie inside. So that's it. You're taking me to the Dragonfly. We're flying away from here for good. We have no other choice, Doctor. At this stage of the mission, we can only minimize losses. You understand that, don't you? Yes, sir? Are you sure that's all we can do? Could we... Don't you even think about it. About what? You didn't let me finish, sir. Uh, but I know what might be on your mind. Going back for Gorski's body, contacting the Alliance, or continuing research on your own. These are not possibilities. A certain death. Please remember, we have just one lander left. As a commander, I must first ensure your safe return. Only then I'll send Artie with other tasks. What do you mean? You know very well what I mean, sir. I'm not coming back. Yes, sir. This is sheer madness. You're heading straight to the enemy base. This is the only way I can find out what's going on here. What happened to our people? Uh, I have several hours of travel ahead of me. You can still turn back. No. And if you try to convince me otherwise, I'll just turn the radio off. I'll stop insisting. Please just understand the position you put me in. As a commander, now I have to decide whether to risk detection by the Alliance. Because by putting yourself in their hands, you're risking not only your own life. I'll understand if you find it necessary to. I would do it if I were you. Well, then you're lucky I'm me. Please don't turn off your radio. I'm not going anywhere. your orders doesn't mean I intend to be foolish, sir. It's comforting in its own way that even in an act of insubordination you want to remain professional. I'll let you know when you cross their perimeter. Once you've crossed, hide the rover. Behind a bend or under a ledge, telemetry observation will be vital. Once we know the camp's weaponry situation, we'll decide what to do next. Copy that. is hidden. You've yet to find a convenient hideout for yourself from where you can see their base. 
some object is flying over their base. It's 15, 20 meters high. It has an upright silhouette, and it looks like a, a balloon. It could be a balloon. And that doesn't surprise you? Not everything that flies needs jet engines. What markings does it have? It's a field base, multi-module, for about several dozen people. Rather well equipped. Huh. There's lots of transporters here. I'm not surprised. Missions with a large crew, transport modules were an integral part of the field camp. Remind me, how many crew members were they supposed to send on the Invincible? Over a hundred. Great. They have a second antimat. As if the first one wasn't enough. Is it active? Uh, probably not, but Proton alone knows. What about people? Can you see anyone? Not yet. Maybe they're hiding in modules. Most of them for sure, but I'd be surprised if they didn't assign anyone to guard duty. I see someone. Just one? For now, yes. Is that all? I think so. Then please keep going. You can assume that their equipment has already detected your presence. Or it will soon enough. There's no point in further postponing the inevitable. Still, I'm glad that I stopped. I feel better knowing that there's no heavily armed military waiting for me there. Me too, Doctor. Me too. You think we might be finally nearing the part covered by them? We'll most likely lose contact soon. So let me be clear. Your situation is highly precarious. We cannot trust the Alliance or expect them to be willing to help. If things don't go our way, I'll do everything in my power to negotiate your safe return to the Commonwealth. Worst case scenario, we'll opt for a prisoner exchange. Until then, please cooperate with them. And during the interrogation, don't resist. Astrobiologists generally do not possess information that's sensitive to the Commonwealth. At worst, you'll give away the details of our last mission. Of course, it'd be better if that didn't happen. Astrogator, I believe in the face of a common threat, we'll find a common language. And we can simply cooperate, pushing political animosities aside. I hope you're right, Doctor. But even if we disregard decades of mutual enmity, we must keep in mind human nature. Homo homini lupus. Just because you want to talk to them doesn't mean they'll listen. I'd rather expect they'll be asking the questions and you'll be answering them. Since we have no idea what's going to happen, I want you to know that you were always a fair commander, even if you were quite strict. I guess what I'm trying to say is... Please, stop, Doctor. And tell me when you get back, in person. Understood? Yes, sir. So that stone just appeared. Oh well. Odd. What? There's no one here. Nobody. Impossible. Even if there aren't many of them in the camp, someone would have noticed you. I'm not blind, sir. There's really no one here. Could be some kind of trick. 
Not a living soul. Better for your safety if they make the first move. If you really don't see anyone. All right, then. Enter the base. Just slowly, with your hands up. Well, apparently we weren't listening to that at all. I'm going. What have I got to lose anyway? Your life, Doctor. <clears throat> I'm going in. Clear. For now. That's what it I can't hear anyone either. A black hole. The summary of quarterly research, the empiric research and sim simulations conducted throughout the last quarter led our team to the following conclusions. Every kind of matter may become a black hole. A black hole may trap light using the force of gravity. We accede to the thesis that the existence of an object such as a black hole is a consequence of the general theory of relativity. A black hole may absorb a star, even of the size of the sun. The star's consumption, or in the other words, the star's dematerialization, is accompanied by the flash of matter coming from the inside of a black hole. The scope of intensified verification, the object of our intensified research throughout the next years will be a singularity. A small point of a huge mass present inside of every black hole. In our team's opinion, it's a place where every law of physics is being broken. Dying of the Sun, the article rectification. To editor so-and-so, responsible for a scandalous article tarnishing my good name and diminishing my science achievements, I politely ask for a rectification of the article Dying of the Sun, a scientist frets. On pages 9 and 10 from the fifth issue of the science periodical Young Astrophysicist, published in the current year, in the text appear not only fundamental mistakes of scientific nature, but also inappropriate quotations of my hypotheses delivered at the last congress. I enclose a correction. According to my, I remind the authorship, Dr. Bowza, not Bowza, research conducted during cosmic voyages, I acknowledge that the time of hydrogen burning out in stars depends on their mass, but this phenomenon applies to all stars, and ours, however we would try to enchant the laws of physics, isn't located, and nothing implies that it would be located, outside this phenomenon's rage. What is my hypothesis then? In the future, all hydrogen fuel in the sun's core will burn out. A sphere of hydrogenic fusion will expand until a temperature drops below 10 million Fahrenheit. The core itself will shrink. Ashes from the hydrogenic fire will serve as fuel, allowing a second round of fusion reactions to begin. It will lengthen the life of the aging sun by a few hundred million of years. However, it is certain the sun will turn from a yellow dwarf into a red giant star. A gravitational pull towards Venus and the Earth will de decrease. Thus, the mentioned celestial bodies will succumb to distancing themselves from the star, and as a result, they will be somewhat rescued. But the mighty red sun will yet be able to consume Mercury before dying. I guarantee, based on my research, that the statement voiced by me about the sun living as a main sequence star for 10 billion years, that is, its existence began 5 billion years ago and it will shine for over 5 billion more, is true. However, it is not a, as we read in the opinion of so-and-so editor, threat based on labile hypothesis, balloony and a pipe dream of a renown-seeking doctor of astrophysic science, disturbing an emotional well-being of human species. Evanescence is a process touching everything and being every and every being in the universe. 
It also touches transfixed in the success aura of their unrefined writing and popularity editors of science periodicals. My respect, Dr. Boza. Postscriptum. A lack of reprint with the correction and a submission of apologies will force me, with a purpose to protect science and a person, to take legal action. I'm at the central module, in the headquarters. You walked in, just like that? Yeah, the doors were open. Unbelievable, just unbelievable. They've got a device for intercepting alarm signals. There isn't much of it. Single record. The guy survived. Someone saved him. Interesting. The coordinates changed uh, upwards, which indicates he was evacuated by air. Huh. The alarm signal broke off high above the ground. One, eight, five, six, one. Seven, five, four. Yes, it's Gorski. You said he died during the night. Correct. I did. I couldn't let you go back to those ruins. D did you send the lander? When? While you were still on your way to the base. Artie carried him on board, secured him. Gorski's in the infirmary now. The prognosis is cautious, but his condition is stabilized. I can't believe you lied to me. More than anything, I'm glad he's alive. I would have gone back for him, you know. I do. Which was the very reason why I couldn't tell you. I wanted to send a lander for him once you were safe. <laughs> he wouldn't have listened to me otherwise. Just like he didn't listen before. Giving away your tank. Going to the Alliance base. I admit. You had your reasons to believe I'd disobey you. That doesn't mean I like it one bit. I have a record of their mission. Each step, location, units... Including dates. I'm all ears. Day Zero, landing place. Their main ships in sector AQ 28. The Invincible? What? They didn't move it? Huh, seems so. I'll try to track it down. Please tell me what else is in there. Unlike well, us, they became interested in the ocean. They got there on the seventh day. Hmm. Quite late. I guess they weren't in a hurry. Before setting up this base, they were stationed not far from here. But seemed very determined to reach this area. They dug a vast system of tunnels. When did they finally get here? On the 15th day of the mission. They conducted research and during excavations found, you won't guess, metal structures. So we had no chance to outrun them. Yeah. And they were already at an advanced stage of works when we were still in orbit. In the end, they sent a convoy to a neighboring sector. So that was their last move? Well, there's no information about their return. And maybe I'll find them there. Highly probable. Do you know what the current day of their mission is? They left on the 25th day. That's all I know. Well, I can't back out now. I have to follow them. Well, it's your decision. Although I admit I'm also starting to wonder what you'll find. People, Astrogator. They must be somewhere. I'm sending a satellite. Soon I'll have an image of the area where the ship landed. We'll see if the Invincible's still there. I'll continue to search their base. On the 24th day, they sent a convoy north to the sector. Oh! To the sector where I found Gorski. Do you suspect they went after him, having detected his signal? 
Oh, surely they could detect him. Ah, they... they could have detected all of us. But would they really do something about it? Well, for some reason they left their base. I'm assuming that has something to do with it. Astrogator, this doesn't make any sense. You can't just wrap up the whole operation. Anyway, the first thing they would take were vehicles and equipment. Only the people are missing here. I'm at the control station. Several units can be controlled from here. I wonder which. Oh, damn. One's unavailable. Probably out of reach. Or they took it. I got the feed. But I can't get it to move. It's got a weak signal. Must be too far away. One is a flying unit. Some sort of probe. Flying over the base? Correct. Can you extract data from it? Sure. Never too much data. Especially in the current situation. I just need to find a place to land it. Probe on the ground. Time to get into the records. 